What happens if the two sides of your brain stop communicating? So we know the answer to that question because of patients called split brain patients. Basically, back in the day, I think like 50, 100 years ago, when we didn't have the medications and treatments for epilepsy that we have now, surgeons had to sever the connection between the right and left hemisphere. And what ended up happening is a constellation of symptoms that we now call disconnection syndrome. This cup, for example, right now is in the left visual field. So basically that one will go through both eyes only into the right side of the brain. Now, normally the two hemispheres are able to connect with each other and talk, so they share information. And so if you were to ask the patient, what they saw, they're gonna be able to tell you that they saw a mug or a, or a coffee cup. However, if you have a disconnection between the right and left hemisphere, and this mug essentially is only being perceived by the right hemisphere, then you ask the patient, what did you see? They will not be able to tell you that they saw a cup because the hemisphere needed to be able to articulate language is actually the left hemisphere, and the two are not communicating. However, if you were to show them multiple different objects in front of them, and then ask them to pick the object that they saw with their left hand, then they're gonna be able to do it because the right hemisphere also controls movement of their left arm.